Ohio. Tula, the city in Russia, the administrative center of Tula region and the city district, the city of Tula. The hero town. Since 1976. Tula is located in the north of central Russian upland on the riverbank Unitary Enterprises, in 180 km to the south from Moscow. City extent from the north on the south minus 30 came, from the west on the east minus 25 came. Tula is for the first time mentioned in the Nikonovsky Chronicle of the 16th century under 1146. In the territory of Tula there are more than 300 objects of cultural heritage. These are monuments of architecture and town planning, history, archaeology, performing monumental art. Tula is widely known for three crafts of the inhabitants, production of weapon, samovars and ginger breads, roots of which disappear deeply the cities. Each of them is provided in Tula by the relevant museum. Museum of Weapon, Museum of Samovars and Museum of the Tula Gingerbread. Also one of hallmarks of Tula is the Tula Kremlin, the most ancient construction of the city, a monument of architecture of the 16th century. In 14 came to the southwest from Tula Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy's house museum in Yesnaya Polyana is located. Tula is among the most economically developed cities of Russia, is the large industrial, scientific and cultural center, the important railway junction, with a number living minus 479,105 people. 2019 In borders of the city district minus 546,896 people. 2019 Population density minus 34, 32 persons on one came. Polycentric Tula and Novomoskovsk agglomeration totals about 1 million people. The territory of the city is crossed or highways of federal importance run in close proximity. Moscow, the Crimea. And minus 2. Kaluga, Tula, Mikhailov, Ryazan. R-132 and large railway lines Moscow, Donbas, Tula, Kazalsk, connecting Tula with other regions of Russia and the countries of the Su and beyond. From the city the railroads to Moscow, Oryol, Kaluga, Uzlovaya, Kazalsk disperse. Following the results of the All-Russian competition held in 2014 on a rank of the most well-planned city. Rural. Settlement of Russia, Tula took the third place in category, city settlements. City districts. Which are administrative centers. Capitals. Of territorial subjects of the Russian Federation. Etymology. The city was founded at confluence in unitary enterprise of the river Tula. The latest Tolka, Tulitsa. Vladimir Dahl's hypothesis was one of early attempts to explain origin of a toponym. In the dictionary he explained the word Tula so. Tula, the reserved, unavailable place, is a tulia, a pretulia for protection, a shelter or for an imprisonment. With it there can be in communication a name of the city. Max Fasimer also agrees with this hypothesis. Hydrography The main waterway of Tula, Yupa River, the right inflow of Ochi. In the territory of the city, three inflows fall into it. Tulitsa, Funnel and Beshke. All vegetation of Tula is planted artificially, among trees, lindens, a poplar, birches, maples, ash trees, oaks, chestnuts and larches prevail. 
In suburbs there are big forest zones which are a remaining balance marked, put in the 16th-17th centuries in strategic objectives. Tula is in our zone Moscow time. Moscow time. Shift of the applied time concerning Utes is plus 3, double O. According to the applied time and geographical longitude average solar midday in Tula comes at 12.30. The climate of Tula moderately continental, with accurately expressed seasons, is characterized in the warm, long summer and in the moderate and cold winter with frequent thaw. According to data of observations during 1981-2010, the average temperature of July is plus 19.1 C, February 7.5 C. In the last decades the tendency to warmer and soft winters is clearly noticeable. Average annual temperature in the city for the period was 1981-2010 plus 5.6 C. The annual rainfall of 500-700 from them for the summer is the share about 220 for the fall about 160 of winter and spring of 120 and 110 respectively. The main direction of winds southern, western and southwest. Owing to the climate change dominating worldwide, the climate of Tula also changes towards warming. On average in 20 years by 0.5 degrees. As it is visible in the tables provided below with climatic regulations. Normal atmospheric pressure for Tula region minus 740, 740 tomb of a mercury column. The absolute temperature maximum was established in Tula on August 6, 2010, in the period of an abnormal heat in the central Russia and made plus 39. 2C. The lowest temperature for the entire period of observation was recorded in the city on January 17, 1940, having been 42C. Ecological situation in the city. On degree of total technogenic load of Tula, one of the most polluted cities in the central Russia. In the city about 200 enterprises making harmful effects on the environment are located. Activity of the enterprises for many years was followed by pollution of atmospheric air, surface and underground water, pollution of soils. One of the major factors having a harmful impact on the Wednesday surrounding the person is air pollution. More than 90% from this quantity make emissions of the enterprises of ferrous metallurgy. Despite quite high level of emissions, dynamics of decrease in their amounts is observed. Among pollutants gaseous and liquid substances prevail. Carbon oxides, nitrogen oxides, dioxide of sulfur. Condition of air. Tula is the city, rather unsuccessful in respect of a condition of the atmosphere. In addition to the industrial sector, the numerous motor transport has significant effect on qualitative structure of atmospheric layers. The center of the main city transport arteries, the Soviet district, and this part of the city experiences the greatest atmospheric pollution. The proletarian district is in the second place on impurity of the atmosphere. Here a large number of industrial facilities is located, for replenishment of a source of raw materials freight vehicles are in large quantities used. The district near the station is characterized by the high level of atmospheric pollution at the expense of dioxide of nitrogen. During the hydrochemical researches high extent of pollution of all surface water located within the city among which there are rivers of Yupa and Tulitz and also streams Shiglovsky, Robozinsky and Trostyansky was revealed. 
The most part of anthropogenic loading from the residential sector and industrial objects is the share of these reservoirs. The strongest adverse effect proceeds from old sludge collectors, Posigorsky Steel Works and Tolgorvodokino Municipal Unitary Enterprise. Also surface water becomes soiled as a result of activity of Tula Cartridge Works, the Tula Machine Building Plant and XE's stamp. Besides, frequent leakages of the polluted drains from wells of a city collector and the stormwater drainage system are fixed. In the city there is no separate sewerage of sewage of industrial and household type. For drinking water supply of the city, the underground waters provided Oka, Apinski and Zavolzi by aquifers are used. The system consists of seven large water intakes and single wells with a low production. The Apinski and Oka horizons pump the water corresponding to state standard specification, drinking water. Waters of the Zavolzi horizon have the increased rigidity and a high mineralization. The water pump by the Maslovka and Pesachinsky water intake differs in excess of regulations of rigidity. Green zones, woods, parks. The total area of green plantings is more than 60 hectares. The bulk of trees is made by birches, maples, larches and a yellow acacia. In the territory of Tula several enough large parks and gardens are located. The largest is the Central Park of P.P. Belusev, more than 140 hectares from which 98 hectares are provided by the forest area, and more than 10 is a cascade from three ponds and more than 30 hectares of a recreational zone. Here nearly 90 species of trees and bushes grow. The most part of them is made by birches, ash trees, oaks, pines, maples, lindens. Also treat large natural monuments the Komsomol Park where the area of green plantings is more than 60 hectares, the Batashevsky Garden where about 40 species of trees and bushes and about 60 species of herbs, the Rogozinsky Park having recreational resources in the form of a microclimate, a land relief, forest vegetation and a fish fauna and also the Park of Culture and Rest of Proletarsky District having the status of a nature sanctuary of local value grow. Fauna. In Tula many bird species among which sparrows, pigeons, sorak, rooks, ducks and daws prevail meat. From mammals in the city it is possible to see protein, hedgehogs and rose who are in Izo corner of the central park of culture and leisure of Belusov. History Tula is one of the oldest cities of Russia. Since ancient times this edge was inhabited by the Slavic tribe of residents of Vyatka. The set of the barrows and ancient settlements which remained up to now demonstrates to it. Residents of Vyatka were engaged in the same, then and their many contemporaries. Cultivated the land, were engaged in craft trade. Within the first centuries of the existence of Tool differed in nothing from other inhabited places of these edge. It was the small, fenced with a paling settlement, the jail located on the island at Confluence Unitary Enterprises in Tulitsa. Tula is for the first time mentioned in the Nikonovsky Chronicle of the 12th century under 1146. The Chronicler, describing military operations of 1146 in the Chronicle, reports. There are verses of a poidosh on the Prince Sitislav Olgovich, it to a and from the tale of Korachev v. residents of Vyatka. And the Prince of Big Sitislav to Olgovich Ida K. Kazelsku, and is Kazelsk to Ida K. to Dadaslav. The Prince Sitislav to Olgovich Ida to Ryazan, and Bivin Makensk, both V2 Tula and V the Oklet to Dona, and V2 Elsa and V Pronsk, and having come V Ryazan to Oka, and you give to drink Verk across Oka, 
and Prabhavini hailed the sturgeon and Sitislav eyed of Verk across Oka Reeds, and Prisht honoured on Porok for eyes lips of the river Vilubinsa Omasav, and Prabhav to that to an IT Amos Lyasha Kalatsku. Follows from the chronicle that in the middle of the 12th century the settlement of Tula already existed. However, date of its actual basis remains to the unknown. 1146 as date of the first mention of Tula in the Nikonovsky Chronicle, was included in the charter of the city which was approved on a city referendum. This date was also recognized by historians of the first half of the 19th century, i.p. Sakharov, I.F. From of an even follower of critical school N.F. Andreev. In 1996 this date was also spoken out in defense by the Tula local historian 5.1. But. Despite it, the Nikonovsky Chronicle is made in the 16th century and cannot form the full-fledged basis for reconstruction of events of the 12th century. According to a number of historians, the mention of Tula under 1146 is the latest insert of the chronicler of the 16th century that is convincingly proved by A. N. Nasanav B. M. Clause 5.50. Agarav N. K. Foman's works. But also they do not deny existence of any settlement on the old ancient settlement, which it is mentioned in Pistsovi books, at confluence in unitary enterprise of the Tulitsa River. In the works A. N. Nasanov assumed that this insert was included in the chronicle for the benefit of the Ryazan princes. However, P. E. Ursikov in the works showed that the Ryazan prince its interests could not be mentioned in the story of 1146 only once casually here, therefore, are represented. Besides, in the 20th years of the 16th century, when the Nikonovsky Chronicle was created, independent Ryazan princes were not anymore. Therefore, most likely it is represented that these inserts and editors' alterations pursued the purpose to prove by historical examples of a claim of the Ryazan Episcopal Department for possession of the cities and lands of the Tula region. Then Bishops Kolomna and also Sarsky and Podonsky applied for possession. The first reliable mention of Tula contains in the contractual diploma of 1382 of the Grand Duke Moscow de Tri Ivanovich with the Grand Duke Ryazan Oleg Ivanovich in connection with its belonging to ownerships of the Queen Tadula. Historically developed dependence of Tula on the Ryazan Principality gives the chance to assume that the basis of Tula was conceived by specific Ryazan princes who delivered an oak jail at the ancient settlement, in the place of confluence of Tulitsa with the river to unitary enterprise. The settlement was intended for military cards and also for collecting of a tribute from local residents of Vyotka whose settlements were lost in dense forests. The extremely important defensive value of Tula was connected with its arrangement on the southern outskirts of the Russian state of the time subject to attacks of the Crimean Tatars. The neighborhood with the Topoka where at the time they passed the border with Lithuania was an important factor also. It forced to care constantly for strengthening of Tula as key point of defense. In the 14th century, Tula was ownership of the wife of the Tatar Khan Uzbek, Taydula. In 1503, it is attached to the Moscow Grand Duchy. In 1514, 21 years, the Hele fireplace, the Kremlin on the left riverbank unitary enterprises, which became a kernel of the developing city, the center of Sasekni line was constructed. 
In 1552 Dula sustained a siege of 30,000 army of the Crimean Khan of Ledigiri who tried to prevent a campaign of troops of the Tsar Ivan the Terrible to Kazan. The Tilavoivo Prince G. 1. Temkin Rostovsky directed defense of the city. In 1565, after the Tsar Ivan the Terrible divided the Russian state into Oprichnina and Azemshina, the city was a part of the last. At the beginning of the 17th century, the city appeared in the thick of rough events and shocks of time of troubles. False to try, who captured Tula in 1605, expected falling of Moscow here. In 1606 in the city the small slushily nobility excites a rebellion against the Tsar Vasily Shusky. In 1607 Tula was covered by a revolt under leadership of Ivan Bolotikov at the end of which it became the main base prison. In March 1607 they managed to break troops of the Prince Ivan Voratinsky near Tula, however some the four-month siege of the city began a time later. From June to October, 1607. Imperial troops 20 times stormed Kremlin walls, firing at it from two parties, but, despite superiority of forces, did not manage to take Tula. To accelerate delivery of the city, it was decided to create flooding, having dammed the river to unitary enterprise. In a camp of defending hunger began, there came cold weather. Vasily Shusky did not manage to suppress a revolt by force and went for deception, having assured Ivan Bolotikov that life will be kept by Risen. However the Tsar did not keep the promise in March, 1608 Bolotikov was arrested and later is executed. In 1608 in Tula new falls the tree. The Tushino Thief appeared. In 1611, 12 years inhabitants of Tula participated in public fight against Poles which came to the end with liberation of Moscow. To the middle of the 17th century when the strength and border of the Russian state was removed on the south, Tula from the fortified city gradually turns into the commerce and industry center. Development of forge craft, traditional for the city, was encouraged with the Moscow sovereigns needing own iron works and gun industry. The beginning of state gun business can be considered 1595 when the Tsar Fyodor Ivanovich, having exempted the Tula, homemade, smiths from taxes and territorial duties, obliged them to make state weapon. The first ironworks plants were constructed by Dutch Anno Domini. Phineas in 15 versts from Tula, in the village of Torkovo on the Tulitsa River. Further A. Venius's partners, P. Marcellius and F. Akima near Tula opened the new plants making not only military, but also economic metal products. Since the end of the 17th century ironworks production of Tula passes to the enterprising and skillful armor Nikita Demidov. After Demidov Batashev, Musolova create own plants. At the beginning of the 18th century craft production of weapon is replaced by factory. Under Peter I's decree in 1712 in Tula the country's first state small arms factory is constructed. Tula becomes the recognized center of production of weapon and metal products which had sale across all Russia. Since 1797 Tula, the center of the province. In Patriotic War of 1812 Tula made the significant contribution to defeat of Napoleonic troops. It was defined not only by delivery of weapon. In 1812, 14 years armorers of the city delivered to field army 600,000 guns. 
but also active participation in fighting as a part of regular army and a national militia. The Tula rebels passed with fights through the whole Europe, and as a part of the Russian army entered Paris in March, 1814. After the end of war at the Tula small arms factories there was a recession that led to emergence of new types of productions. The samovars and accordions created by hands of the Tula handymen quickly won world fame, and along with production of weapon, for a long time defined special specialization of the Tula industry. Latyshevsky samovars became a synonym of samovars of the highest class. At the end of 19, the beginning of the 20th century in Tula there were new large enterprises of metallurgical, metalworking, war and sugar industry which together with the small arms factory reconstructed in 1870, 1873 stood in the same row with the largest industrial enterprises of Russia. Along with large also cottage industry hardware, some of our harmonic, gingerbread production developed. On a census of 1912-1913 the number of Somoverni factories in Tula reached 50, with the annual production volume of 660,000 samovars. In 1898 in Tula there was a social democratic group, in 1901, Committee Erzerp. Overthrow of the imperial power resulted from the February Revolution 3 on March 16. 1917, later, than in Petrograd and Moscow. Tula, 4 i.e. the popular uprising in Tula began yesterday. Workers of the weapon and cartridge plants with banners and songs moved to the Kremlin where the populist meeting took place. Then protesters in number 30.000 of the people whom inhabitants joined and certain soldiers went to the governor where demanded release of political prisoners. The last were released. The requirement to release soldiers from a guard room was rejected by the chief of garrison general Bandarovsky. The people started lifting soldiers to barracks. Many military units immediately joined Risen, and the arrested soldiers from a guard room were released. Taking of representatives of the old power began. Today are arrested. The commander of the militant body, the chief of garrison General Bandarovsky, the governor Troynitsky, the vice governor Shenshin, the chief of police Davidov, the chief of a division General Nikitin and other commanding persons. The police are disarmed. The detective office is crushed. The police officer assistants them, Okolodotny and many policemen are arrested and sent to a guard room. The interim executive committee was formed of representatives of workers, soldiers, cooperatives and other public organizations. Council of working deputies was formed. The Colonel Campioni is appointed the Chief of Garrison. All almost military units voluntarily adjoined Risen. Perfect order. There was not a no uniform shot, any victim. The National Militia was organized. Council of Workers deputies decided to continue works with redoubled zeal and to suspend work only if events take other turn. The Soviet power was established in Tula 7 on December 20, 1917. In the years of civil war the city was the center of arms of the Red Army. During the Great Patriotic War on October 25, 1941 on distant approaches to Tula the German troops of the 2nd Tank Army of the General Guderian broke. From this day within 45 days Tula was almost in a complete ring of a siege. The Tula Defensive Transaction 
was exposed to artillery and mortar attack, air raids of Hitlerite aircraft. Troops of the 50th Army Lieutenant General I-5 Bolden with assistance of almost all population of Tula heroically defended the city, and not only defended it, but also made an outstanding contribution to a victory in the Moscow fight, having held down big forces of the opponent which had to strike blow to Moscow from the south. In December, 1941 during the Tula offensive transaction under attacks of the Red Army the enemy receded. On December 8, 10 were cleared of Germans' automobile and the railroads connecting Tula to Moscow, and by the outcome on December 15 the last German parts were rejected from Tula on 20, 30 kilometers. The siege of Tula was raised. In December 1941 restoration of the Tula small arms factories began, and in 1942 Tula became one of the largest centers of production of shooting arms for the Red Army again. On December 3, 1966 proved the courage and firmness shown by defenders of Tula at the heroic defense of the city which played an important role in the defeat of fascist troops near Moscow in the period of the Great Patriotic War and for the achieved success in development of the national economy, the city of Tula is awarded with the Order of Lenin. Ten years later, the decree of Presidium of the Supreme Council of the Usher of December 7, 1976 to Tula gave an honorary title, Hero Town, with delivery of the medal, Gold Star. Today Tula is among the large centers of the industry and trade. The leading industries it is possible to call Chernicheski and Pojest Tula Chermit, Kosigorsky Steelworks, Machine Building and Metalworking, the Kambenavi Plant, Small Arms Factory, the Instrument Making Plant, the Plant of Mountain and Transport Mechanical Engineering, Stamp. For January 1, 2021 on population the city was in the 42nd place from 1116 cities of the Russian Federation. The image reflects the weapon nature of the city which appeared at it in the 16th century in the coat of arms of Tula. The coat of arms of Tula was approved on March 8, 1778, and its description said so. In the dark red field horizontally put on two silver shiny blades lying like the Andreevsky cross, the ends down, a silver gun trunk. Above and below on one hammer gold. All this shows notes the worthy and useful small arms factory which is in seven the city. It formed also a basis for the coat of arms of the Tula province which was approved on July 5, 1878. The anthem of the hero town of Tula is the musical and poetic work created on the basis of the Tula defensive song. A. Navikov's music, 5. Varian's words. Flag of Tula, the identification and legal sign made and used according to Vexel Logicheski rules, serving as a historical symbol of the city of Tula, unity of its territory, the population, local government of the municipal unit, the city of Tula. The flag of Tula represents a rectangular panel of dark red color, with width relation to length 2, 3, the bearing image of figures of a municipal coat of arms. In the upper left corner of a panel with a space 110 from the upper and left edge the image of the medal, gold star, is located. Planning and Building since the 16th century the Tula Kremlin was the center of development, further planning and building of the city. It was a kernel of military, administrative and economic life of the city where bodies of the political and spiritual power concentrated. So it conducted all main roads which influenced creation of planning structure near the Kremlin. 
near walls of the Kremlin the posted in which the population of the city serving the Kremlin and other defensive strengthenings around Tula and also which was engaged in crafts and trade lived developed. By the end of the 16th century the post had covered the Kremlin closely built up half ring in borders of modern Sovetskaya Street from Zarekny to Proletarsky Bridge, without passing through the river. To the middle of the 17th century separation of the city into three main parts which remained until our time was defined. Left Bank Center Zareki and Chalkovo In the middle of the 17th century the border of the Russian state began to be displaced gradually on the south, and Tula, having lost the strategic defensive importance, became the center of craft and trade. On September 2, 1779 Catherine II approved the plan of replanning of Tula made in the provincial city, then processed into the commissions about the structure of street. Petersburg and Moscow the famous architect Andrei Vasilievich Kvosov took part in plan development. Since 1788 years, with little changes this plan was realized. Gradually in Tula new streets and the areas were created, new areas and quarters were under construction and became populated. This plan provided beautiful radial streets in the downtown and simpler rectangular quarters for the outskirts, accurately expressed public center with offices and other organizations. According to the plan unitary enterprises got out from the coast various farm and production buildings and the beautiful embankment was created. In 1824 city map was a little corrected by the architect William Jest, having kept the radial and semi-ring structure, and in such type existed prior to the beginning of the 20th century. The master plan of 1779 is a sample of the Russian classicism, and its value in the history of the city is so important. That all subsequent plans till 1978 years proceeded from its principles. In the capitalist period of the end of his, the beginning of the 20 centuries of Tool continued to develop as the versatile center of the industry, education, culture. Rapid growth of large enterprises and population of the city, railway construction began to change considerably the person of the city, generating many difficult tractable social, technical and sanitary and hygienic problems. Since the end of the 1920th years in Tula the considerable construction which brought with itself several remarkable buildings in style of constructivism was performed. In post-war time the drama theater, circus and the main building of authorities, the House of Soviets. White House. During which creation the kernel of the historic center underwent significant changes began to play a noticeable role in a complex of the historic center of the city. The master plan of Tula last at the moment is developed in 2004-2006 by Scientific Design Institute of Space Planning of ENCO. Street. Petersburg. My request of management of capital construction of the justice of the city of Tula. Now further development of a radial and ring transport grid, including with construction of the roundabout road around Tula is offered. Districts of the city of Tula and respective territorial districts of the municipal unit. The city of Tula within the administrative territorial device of area is divided into five areas and is the city of regional subordination. Central. Proletarian. Zarekny. Near the station. Soviet. 
Lutenin Municipal Device in borders of the city and Leninsky Municipal District of Tula region abolished since January 1, 2015 the Uniform Municipal Unit the city of Tula with the status of the city district divided into five territorial districts corresponding to names of districts of the city as formed. In the city there is a number of historically created residential districts which names firmly were fixed in use of citizens. Kurovsky, Plashanki, Krivoluchi, Redrakop, Skuratovsky, Slanting Mountain Torches, Mendelevsky and others. Local Government Authorities The structure of local government authorities of Tula is made. The Tula City Council, representative body of the municipal unit. Head of the municipality. City Administration of Tula, executive body of the municipal unit. Control Commission of the City of Tula, control and calculating body of the municipal unit. The Tula City Council is permanent elected representative body of local government of Tula, performs the power of city self-government on the basis of the charter of the municipal unit the city of Tula within own competence. The Tula City Council consists of the deputies elected on municipal elections. The number of deputies of the Tula City Council minus 35 people. The term of office of deputies of city council is five years, up to the four convocation, four years. The organization of activity of eightfold device of eightfold is performed by the head of the municipality of the city of Tula performing powers of the chairman of eightfold. It is a city management official, directs work of eightfold and conducts its meetings. On March 31, 2010, Alice of the Tokachio, who less than in a year, on March 2, 2011, during the meeting of the Tula City Council, was removed from a post as elected the mayor of Tula. On March 10, 2011, at a meeting of the Tula City Council, the deputy Evany Avalov, who since March 19, 2012, became the head of administration of Tula, is elected the mayor. On December 19, 2012, at a meeting of the Tula City Council, the Mayor of Tula, Mayor Alexander Prokopok is elected the Chairman of City Parliament. After his resignation on July 11, 2014, the place of the Mayor remained vacant before forming of new structure of a thought in September of the same year. On September 29, 2014, at the first meeting of the Tula City Council by a majority vote, Yuritsky Puri was chosen as the mayor of Tula. The city administration is allocated with powers according to the solution of questions of local value and powers for implementation of the separate state powers transferred to local government authorities by federal laws and laws of Tula region. Since fall of 2019, the head of administration is the Trimiliaf. The head of administration is appointed under the contract signed by results of tender. Police. The regional office of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia on the city of Tula, Sazdanani after accession of Big Tula, has subordination of regional office of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia across Tula region which, in turn, is territorial authority of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Russian Federation at the regional level. Is a part of the system of law enforcement bodies of the Russian Federation and the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Russian Federation submits. In addition, in the city there are seven police stations. Zarekny, near the station, Soviet, Central, Lenin, Krivoluchensky and Skuratovsky and also police stations. Posogorsky, Ilyinsky, Bolokovsky, Inshinsky, Christmas, and Plekhanovsky, 
at this regional office of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia on the city of Tula serves the territory of Proletarsky district. The main office buildings in regional office of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia on the city of Tula 2, they were located in House 53 on Lenin Avenue and in House 10 on Shukov Street. The top management of management of police on the city has two office offices. On one office on each of the specified addresses. If it's to your Viber Jensen tool of internal troops under the name Militia goes to the beginning of the 19th century when the special manifesto of the Emperor Alexander I about drawing up and formation of universal temporary militias or militia of November 30, 1806 was published. The intense relations of Russia with France at the time of the developing large military conflict in Europe became the reason of creation of internal troops. Publishing the manifesto, Alexander I was going to solve several problems. Create a big reserve for a regular army and have an opportunity to suppress national performances which periodically broke out in various points of the country. Besides all expenses on creation of militia laid down not on the state treasury, and on the population in particular, on the nobility. In the winter and spring of 1807 in the Tula province hard work on forming of militia, collecting of an additional shower tax and donations was conducted. In total in a militia, Ratnik were accepted, however the armament of a militia was quite weak. In 1808 Russia entered into alliance with Napoleon that did existence of militia excessive, and the same year it was dismissed. Four years later in the city the Tula militia, new attempt of formation of internal troops which took part in patriotic war and a foreign campaign as a part of the Russian army was created. Housing and Communal Services in Tula several enterprises of housing and municipal services industry of inhabitants function. The enterprises are engaged in accomplishment of different types of repair, construction and sanitary work, improvement of house adjoining territories and playgrounds, cutting of emergency trees, warming of wall panels, sealing of interpanel seams and many other. The largest of them are Kiskout Goroda Tuli. Just firm rems and housing and public utilities, Tula House. Just Tula Gorvodokanal. Street. The Demidovsky Dam. Transformed in 2008 from municipal unitary enterprises engaged in water supply of the city. In the municipal unit city of Tula of 180 boiler houses. 130 in Tula, 50 in Leninsky district. They provide with heat socially important objects and 4005 apartment houses, from them 1398 with central heating. Industry Historically it developed so that Tula was the southern outpost of Moscow for centuries reflecting attacks of foreign aggressors. They never took neither the Tula Kremlin, nor the city. Since ancient times weapon production was in Tula the basic, imposing the print on shape and the nature of the city and area. More than four centuries Tula is known as the center of weapon crafts and metal working. Today Tula is the developed industrial center. Industrial production in the city engaged 121 enterprises belonging to the category large and average with a number working 62.4 thousand people. From them in the sphere of the processing production minus 106 enterprises, with a number of the working 48.1 thousand people. The amount of self-produced ship goods on the processing production in 2012, 130.67 billion rubles. For 2011, 134.79 billion rubles. 
in structure of the industry of Tula Metallurgical Industry, 57.5%. Mechanical engineering and metal working with a high share of products of defense industry complex, 19% and production of foodstuff, 18.1%, are important. The metallurgy is provided by two ironworks, Just Tula Chermit and Just Kosogorsky Steel Works, the largest enterprise for production of pent of side of Just Vanity Tools Evers and more than two tens enterprises of average scale. Tula by right is proud of the enterprises of defense industry. Among them there are Jesky Bob Peet. Instrument Design Bureau. And Justkan Postlav which are one of leaders of the Russian and world military industrial complex and also Pist Tulsky Small Arms Factory, Jest Tula Machine Building Plant, Jest Tula Cartridge Works, Federal State Unitary Enterprise Machine Building Plant Stamp of B-50. Panikov, Tula Tokmish, Jest Enpostrala, Jest Shiglovsky Val, Jest Spa, the Tula Jest Kokoktava, Jest Nidi. In Tula the known enterprises of mechanical engineering and instrument making, such as Jest Zelda Mash, Jest Gastroidital, Kist Tula Proprivid, and Elst Kefiki Tulovtomotika, Kist Tula Plant of Transformers, Jest Koktava Work. The index of industrial production. Mineral extraction, the processing productions, production and power distribution, gas and water on the amount of the ship products. For January September 2014 made 130. 5% by January September 2013. In the comparable prices. The prices of producers of industrial goods for January September 2014 in relation to the corresponding period of last year grew by 4.9%. Just Tafia Snea Polyan Factories, Just Tafla Comca, Just Kiex Torea Tula are engaged in production of the Tula Ginger breads. The brewing provided by the Tula Beer Factory and Soldans Brewery is also developed. Trade. In Tula the following retail chain stores work. Globe, Metro Cash and Carry, Line, OB, Spire, Magnet, Tape, Dixie, Kitaraka, Billa, Attic, Orkin, Fix Price, Labyrinth, True, Progress, Intersection. Trade and office and entertainment centers. Maxi, Costany Dvor, Paradise, Sundress, Bivsh, Intercity, Rio, Likur Kulov, Proletarian, Demidovsky, Continent, Kurovsky, Free Posted, Central Department Store, Lagoon, Metallurgist, Sofia, Iron, Frolov, Skuratovsky. Markets. Central Southern Kopia, the market to Franz, the Plekhanovsky market, the Salute market on May 9th Street. Construction. For January September 2014, amount of works, the services executed by and forces of the organizations by the form of activity, construction in the territory of the city of Tula on the large and average organizations was 2,551.5 million rubles that in the current price is 10.8%, in the comparable price is a 17.0% less than for the corresponding period of last year. Construction of individual housing is conducted at the expense of owner-raised funds of inhabitants. Multi-story apartment houses are under construction at the expense of owner-raised funds of investors' builders. For January-September 2014, 52.6% of housing amount across Tula region are 179,010 M. 1806 apartments are put into operation, including 
multi-story apartment houses minus 67592M. 58. 8% of the amount of the apartment houses entered in the territory of Tula region. Individual apartment houses minus 111,418M. 49.5% of the amount of the individual housing entered in the territory of Tula region. In comparison with January-September 2013, the amount of the entered housing decreased by 8.4%. Multi-story apartment houses for 33.7%. The amount of individual housing increased by 19.0%. The largest building sites are at the moment. Residential District Left Bank, Petrovsky Quarter, New Grange, ST Skuratovo and ST Vertical. In March 2015 the site planning of the territory of the residential district, Redgate, is approved. Construction of the new residential district is planned on the land plot more than 650 square. M near Moskovskoy Highway and Kluchi Street. The project provided the housing estate by apartment 4, 24 floor apartment houses. In the center of building placement of a recreational zone is planned construction of two schools on 1300 and 540 pupils, two kindergartens on 250 and one kindergartens on 110 children is provided. Construction of social objects is actively conducted. So, in the nearest future in Tula there will be a cottage settlement in which housing will be intended only for health workers. Consumer market. Retail turnover on a cycle for January-September 2014 was 106,396 million rubles that it is more in comparison with January-September. 2013 in the current prices for 13.4 percent in the comparable prices commodity weight for 5.5 percent in retail turnover of Tula region the share of the municipal unit the city of Tula increased in comparison with the corresponding period of the past for about 0.1 years percent point and made 62.5 percent Retail turnover around of large and medium-sized enterprises for the reporting period developed of 40612. 2 million rubles that in comparison with January-September 2013 in the current prices there is more corresponding period of last year for 14%. In the comparable prices. Commodity weight. For 6.1%. By large and medium-sized enterprises to residents of the municipal unit the city of Tula it is realized foodstuff, including drinks and tobacco products on 16464. 9 million rubles that it is more than for January-September 2013 in the current prices for 29.4%. In the comparable prices. Commodity weight. For 18.4%. Turnover of public catering around of the large and average organizations in January September 2014 made 520.8 million rubles and grew in relation to the corresponding period of last year in the current prices by 4.3%. In the comparable prices for 2.6%. The amount of the bid services rendered to the population by all economic entities of the municipal unit the city of Tula in the reporting period was 30,910.8 million rubles that is higher in relation to the level of the corresponding period of last year in the current prices were 9.1%. In the comparable prices for 1.5%. In structure of paid services to the population, the greatest share utilities minus 32. 
6% occupy, communication services minus 25.3% and transport services minus 9.1%. Consumer Price Index on Goods and Services in January-September, 2014 by January-September, 2013 was 107.7%, including for food products minus 109.3%, non-foods minus 105.8%, services minus 107.9%. Consumer Price Index on Goods and Services in September, 2014 by December, 2013 was 106.7%, including for food products minus 108.4%, non-foods minus 105.2%, services minus 105.7%. Consumer price index on goods and services in September 2014 by last month was 100.9%. The prices of food products in September 2014 in relation to August 2014 increased by 1.2%, by non-foods for 1%, by services for 0.4%. The cost of the minimum set of food on the city of Tula in September 2014 was 2,865.81 rub per month and increased in comparison with the beginning of year by 8%. The cost of the minimum set of food across Leninsky District in September 2014 was 2,861.7 rub per month and increased in comparison with the beginning of year by 6.4%. For January-September 2014 investments into fixed capital at the expense of all financing sources around of the large and average organizations of the municipal unit the city of Tula made 13,330.2 million rubles. The volume of investment to the level of January-September 2013 increased in the current prices by 7.9%, in the comparable prices for 4.8%. The share of investments into fixed capital by types of economic activity made 51.74%. 6.9 billion rubles. Of own means of the large and average organizations. In volume of the capital investments in fixed capital. Without small business entities and parameters of informal activity. The investments financed by the raised funds made 6.4 billion rubles from which budgetary funds minus 1,221.4 million rubles. 19%. The credits of banks minus 1,242.6 million rubles. 19.3%. Borrowed funds of other organizations minus 1,128.9 million rubles. 17.5%. Other minus 2,840.3 million rubles. 44.2%. Economic relations with other states, for example, with Turkey develop. In the downtown, on Friedrich Engels Thule Street, construction of Aqua Park is conducted. The project worth 4 billion rubles is financed by the private investor. Communication. In Tula, the Tula branch of the Russian state company Russian Post, including 37 city offices, is engaged in services of a mail service. Delivery of a seal and correspondence is made in Tula daily. Mail history in Tula began on September 4, 1871. Those years Tula was divided into the districts which had points for acceptance of correspondence in petty benches. Departure of letters was paid irrespective of its weight for the fixed docks and minus 5 kopecks with silver. 20 kopecks banknotes. Only after it the letter fell to the mailbox established in the same place. Collecting and delivery of letters were performed by the letter carriers recruited by post office.
to the middle of the 19th century mail was the only way of written communication of people, and it had no competitors. However, increasing rates of development of the city led to emergence in the second half of the 19th century of the new transmission medium of information, cable communication. Emergence of this innovation in Tula was connected with preparation for construction of the southern branch of the railroad. In Tula, the Lieutenant Agarav was appointed responsible for the structure of telegraph. In Tula, opening of city post and cable post office took place in 1902 on Demidovskaya Street. In 1911, the office on Nikolavskaya Street opened. Svoboda Street now. In 1914, there began work the station office at the Kursk station, and in 1915, on Epifanskaya Street. Telephone Communication now the largest telecom operator in Tula is Pisk Ross Telecom, the national telecommunication company founded in 1993. The largest providers of mobile communication in Tula are Beeling, Mint, Megaphone, Tele and Yota which also provide services of internet access. Tourism, the developing and prospective industry which is connected with forming of positive image of the city of Tula, the organization of employment of the population, the investment attraction in development of the different branches of economy, growth of tax revenues in budgets of all levels. The huge cultural and historical heritage of the city, saturation connect by the museums, historical and cultural monuments Tula with the high level of the organization of acceptance and service of tourist streams. In the territory of the city of Tula more than 160 tourist firms, 16 enterprises of hotel type, the general number of rooms of 527 numbers and the number of places minus 984 function. The Tula tourism is internal tourism which development is more connected with the history of the city of Tula. More than 90% of the tourists visiting Tula are the share of citizens of Russia. Transport Tula is the large railway junction. From the city the railroads to Moscow, Oryol, Kaluga, Uzlovaya, Kazelsk disperse. Till 1996, the Tula Kvinsky narrow gauge railroad worked. In Tula, there are two railway stations, Moscow and Ryesky. Through the city, there pass highways Moscow, Simferopol. Transit cars go on the bypass road. And Kaluga, Ryazan. It should be noted several routes of the same route M-2, Crimea. Its way passes the first. And the oldest. Directly through Tula, directly on the central avenue that in modern conditions creates an array of problems and for transit transport, and for untertown traffic. Therefore later near Tula the bypass road on which now the main transit movement, without arrival to the city is performed was constructed. One more part throughout the site highway. Speed to 110 km slash h. The routes Crimea which nowadays joined the highway Tula, Ryazan in 18 came from Tula and in 15 came from the bypass road was also a few years ago open. In Soviet period on the northern outskirts of the city the Klokovo airport existing from 1959 to 1995 functioned. Since 1995 passenger flights are not performed from it, the airfield is used only as the military and the air terminal building. Akibuskaya Street, 304 is occupied under supermarket of construction materials, peanuts. In the 1970th, the 1980th years, the 294th Tula Avia Group of Aeroflot performed regular flights from Klokovo to the following cities of the Ussa. 
Astrakhan, Bryansk, Voronezh, Volgograd, Saratov, Samara, Kubashev, Penza, Yulianovsk, Orenburg, Kazan, Nabrzny, Chalny, Ishevsk, Ekaterinburg, Sverdlovsk, Chalyabinsk, Smolensk, Street, Petersburg, Leningrad, Rostovondon, Mariupol, Mineralny Vody, Krasnodar, Sochi, Donetsk, Anapa, Simferopol, Mpropetrovsk, Odessa, and capitals of federal republics. Kiev, Chisina, Minsk, Riga, Vilnius. In 2020, the construction of the second turn of East Contour was completed. It connected two large districts of Tula, Central and Proletarian. City transport. The horse railroad became the first city transport appeared in Tula. Its history originates in 1888 when the way from the Kiev outpost. Nowadays, Leo Tolstoy Street. On streets Kiev was paved. Nowadays, Lenin Avenue. Ambassadorial. Nowadays, Soviet. Old and Pavshinsko. Nowadays, Mosina. Priyazasko. Nowadays, Litizina. And Krivonogovsko. Nowadays, Klaritsekin. To Kursk. Nowadays, Moscow. This station. In 1924 in the city the first bus which became the first type of public transport started in Tula after establishment of the Soviet power was started up. In the first years used the converted trucks. 14-seater Omo on the chassis of the American white truck was the first this bus. Now. As of January 2021, in Tula work 31 city bus a route connecting all districts of the city and the nearby cities and settlements of the area. The release of buses on city routes makes on weekdays till the 140 units a rush hour until the 90 units in off peak time and on days off after 19 o'clock till the 30 buses. The center of Tula is Lenin Square, located near the Tula Kremlin. The main transport artery of the city is Lenin Avenue, the busiest city street. On it, the Massachusetts of educational institutions, drama theater, Philharmonic Hall, monuments to various cultural figures, the monuments devoted to the Great Patriotic War, various shops, restaurants, cafe and supermarkets is located. They take place the celebrations, parades and processions dated for various festive actions. The large role in forming of city traffic is played by Sovetskaya streets surrounding the downtown and connecting consistently four urban areas. Zarekny, Soviet, Central and Proletarian. From Sovetskaya Street originate Krasnoamaysky Avenue and also Oberania Street, Staronikitsky and the demonstrations undertaking big traffic flow and forming radial planning of the city. A link between the center of Tula and the Moscow direction of Federal Road Square. M. Crimea is Oktyabrskaya Street passing through all Zarekny district. In the next years on Laziva Street, the large traffic intersection will appear. 2.7 billion rubles will be directed to construction of the new bridge through Yupa River in Tula. In the city district Tula, the multivariable educational system which includes functions. 122 preschool educational institutions, 12 organizations of additional education, 98 educational institutions. Among them, seven gymnasiums, five lyceums, three schools with profound studying of separate objects, six elementary comprehensive schools, three evening. Replaceable.
schools, one boarding school, one inter-school educational plant and three centers Psicologo, Medico-Social Maintenance Value Center, Transformation, Trust. An educational space of the city of Tula, eight organizations of additional education of children function and develop. The Palace of Children's Youthful Creativity, five centers of additional education of children. The Center of Additional Education for Children, Tourist, the Center for Children and Young People, the Center of Out of School Work, the Center of Children's Creativity, the Center Patriot for Children and Young People, the House of Children's Creativity, the Station of Young Technicians, Network of Children's Science and Technology Parks Quintorium. The developed system of professional education, more than 80 professional and average professional educational institutions and nine higher educational institutions works in the region. Higher educational institutions of the city. Tula State University. Palbu. Tula State Pedagogical University of 50. And Tolsko, Tju, Tula Institute of Economy and Informatics, T, Tula University. There are also branches of higher education institutions from other regions of Russia. Plekhanov Russian University of Economics, Ru of G5, Plekhanov Tiet. Financial University under the Government of the Russian Federation. Fuat Par Optiet. Russian Presidential Academy of National Economy and Public Administration. Tietronepa. Moscow State University of Culture and Art. Moscow University of S. Bayou. Wit. Tula branch of the Russian International Academy of Tourism. Tiet Romit. Tula branch of the Russian Legal Academy of the Ministry of Justice of the Russian Federation. The Moscow Academy of an Entrepreneurship at the Government of Moscow. The Tula branch. Map Tiet. Branch of Institute of Professional Innovations. New PPOEP. In the city, two educational institutions of Russian Orthodox Church, the Tula Theological Seminary and the Tula Gymnasium are located. In March 2016, the President of Russia Vladimir Putin made the decision on revival of the Tula Suvarev Military School closed in 1960. Educational processes begun on September 1, 2016. Healthcare. The network of the healthcare institutions relating on subordination to management of healthcare of city administration of Tula is provided by 29 municipal authorities of healthcare. State Healthcare Institution. Enter into structure of municipal authorities. 14 hospitals, 3 adults and 2 children's polyclinics, 3 children's hospitals, maternity hospital, center of medicine of accidents. Totskam Tula. 5 dental polyclinics. And healthcare institutions of Tula medical care to the population is provided by 1354 doctors and 3234 medics of an average length. Among doctors of city there are 26 honored doctors of the Russian Federation, two doctors of medical sciences and 34 candidates of medical sciences. To five medics the rank honored worker of healthcare is given. The general percent of completeness a medical personnel on MP of the city was 49% that it is less than 2009 for 3%. 52%.
on outpatient and polyclinic service minus 50%, owing to reduction by the government almost twice at the beginning of 2021 financings from the federal budget of a healthcare system. The medicine became one of the few budget items according to allocations in which lower 2021. In Tula also the insulating and diagnostic body of the Tula Children's Regional Clinical Hospital function new ward box revenue. At the beginning of 2022 the new body of the perinatal center will begin to work. And in nearly 40 doctors will work. Construction of an object cost 4 billion rubles. Improvement of quality of work of primary link, strengthening of preventive orientation, change in the system of obstetric aid and the childhood in a complex with measures for the state support of the families having children yielded positive result on improvement of the key demographic indicators. The birth rate increased from 7.6 per mil in 2007 to 8.8 .8 per mil in 2010. There was a decrease in natural losses of the population from 10 to promil in 2007 up to 8.8 .8 promil in 2010. In structure of incidence of adult population first place is one by blood circulatory system diseases, a large number of diseases of respiratory organs and a bone and muscular system. Among children for many years diseases of respiratory organs remain the leader. According to the statistics, the leading causes of death, except the new coronavirus knee infection caused by a virus COVID are diseases of the blood circulatory system, a new growth, an injury and poisoning. Demographic Situation Resident population for January 1, 2015 is 552,362 people. Since the beginning of 2015 of inhabitants of Tula it became 5106 people less. The main reason, not diseases. Including excess death rate from COVID. Accidents and an old age. The share of pensioners in the lump of the population is more than in the neighboring regions. Elderly people are ill and die more often than young people. If to consider death as a result of diseases, then the oncology is the main reason. Relative indicators on accidental alcoholic poisonings are almost twice higher than over the country. The same relative data on the level of murders in Tula are one and a half times higher than averages over the country. Suicides are one quarter more. At last, there are tragic cases on roads 40% more often. The demographic situation in 2014 in the city of Tula remained difficult. On average monthly was born 401 persons, tied 1.8 times more minus 730 people. Level of natural losses of the population remained still at the high level in 2967 people. The city of Tula of 2705 people, Leninsky district of 262 people. In comparison with the corresponding period of last year, natural losses decreased by 10.6%. The city of Tula for 10.3%, Leninsky district minus 13.2%. The positive factor which is positively influencing development of the city is decrease in number of the dead on 70 people or for 1.1%. From 6644 people in January September 2013 up to 6574 people in January September 2014. In the reporting period was born on 282 people or is aid. 5% more than in the corresponding period of last year. 
from 3325 people following the results of January September 2013 to 3607 people following the results of January September 2014. The birth rate coefficient in the reporting period made 8.7 per mil with increase against January September 2013 for 8.8%. The mortality rate for the reporting period was 15.9 promil and decreased in relation to the corresponding period of last year by 0.6%. The coefficient of natural losses reached 7.2 promil with decrease in relation to the corresponding period of last year for 10%. Following the results of the reporting period migration increase in population was 1203 persons. There arrived 10568 people, 9365 people decreased. Following the results of January September 2013 the balance of migration was negative and was 632 people. Crime According to statistical data, by 2013 the crime rate in Tula in comparison with previous years decreased a little. The downward tendency of number of robberies, thefts, hooliganism manifestations remains and also the number of crimes on city streets and in public places decreased. Despite it, the tendency to reduction of age of criminals is observed. So, if in 2011 among convicts the number of young people up to 25 years was 23.8%, then in 2012, 29.2%. The number of convicts for illicit trafficking and use of narcotic and psychotropic drugs increased by 9.8%. In Tula or corrective labor colony no. 2. Maurice Torres Street, E11A, and Pre-Trial Detention Center No. 1. Maurice Torres Street, E11B. The nominal accrued average monthly payroll of employees around of the large and average organizations for the municipal unit the city of Tula. Without structural divisions of associations which had enterprises located in the territory of the municipal unit the city of Tula and structural divisions in the territory of other municipal units of Tula region. For January September 2014 was 30670. To Robin increased by 11% of rather corresponding period of last year. In real terms, the salary grew by 3.1%. The inter-industry differentiation of the salary which developed in recent years practically did not change also for the analyzed period. Still, the highest amount of the accrued payroll was noted in the sphere of financial activities minus 47,334.4 red that is 1.6 times more than on average in the city. Above Shredegorodsky level for 34.1% there was an average monthly salary in the sphere of public administration and ensuring military security, obligatory social security. For 7.8% at the enterprises for production and power distribution, gas and water. In the processing productions the average monthly salary was 27,848.4 rub that is 4.2% lower than the Shrednagorodsky level and 16.1% above than the level of 2012. The lowest level of compensation in the reporting period developed at employees of hotels and restaurants minus 17,448.5 rub is 39.9% lower than on average in the city. In education minus 20,417.4 up, 29.7% lower. 
and the organizations for providing other municipal, social and personal services minus 20,409.4 up 29.8% lower. Following the results of the reporting period, the fund of the accrued payroll of all employees around of the large and average organizations without associations made 47,515.8 million rubles, that is 10.8% more than the corresponding period of last year. According to Tula status of October 1, 2014, total wage arrears are absent. The situation in labor market remains stable. In job center of the population for October 1, 2014 is looking for work 2.1 thousand people. On 446 people or 1.3% more in comparison with October 1, 2013. From them jobless minus 1.4 thousand people. On 26 people or 1.9% or less than for October 1, 2013. Are registered. Level of registered unemployment on the municipal unit the city of Tula for October 1, 2014 was 0. 40% of the number of economically active population, tension coefficient minus 0.2. During the reporting period, economic entities of the city of Tula created 5196 new jobs, including 39 specially equipped jobs for disabled people. Religion During archaeological excavations in the territory of Tula, traces of ancient beliefs of residents of Byotka were not found because by the time of the first mention in Chronicles under 1146 a noticeable part of the population already professed Christianity. The beginning of a Christian sermon in these parts belongs to the first half of the 12th century. From 1277 to 1622 Tula, along with other cities of the region, was under authority of Orthodox bishops of Ryazan. In 1622 it passed to the Kolomna Diocese, and in 1799 the independent department was formed. Long-time Orthodox Christians were the bulk of the believing population of Tula, and only in the 17th century the first, in Overchesky, communities, Catholic and Protestant began to appear. Growth of number of Protestants in Tula was connected first of all with the emergence of small arms factory where specialists and masters from Europe were attracted for work. The Catholic community in the city strongly increased in the second half of the 19th century after a large number of exiled of Poles and Belarusians, participants of the National Liberation Revolt of 1863 was sent to Dula. Now the most part of the population in Tula belongs to the Christian religious organizations, mainly to Orthodox Christians. All Orthodox organizations of Tula are included into the Tula city deanery of the Tula Diocese as a part of the Tula Metropolitanate of the Moscow Patriarchy of Russian Orthodox Church. In total within the Tula deanery 38 Orthodox receipts and three temples at monasteries work. In addition to Russian Orthodox Church, in Tula there is a receipt of the Russian Orthodox Old Belief Church numbering about 50 people. Further on number Protestants and Catholics follow. The first Protestant receipts, in particular Lutheran, appeared in Tula before the October Revolution. To the middle of the 1930th years in the city there was a Lutheran Lutheran church which at first was closed and then is destroyed. Revival of activity of the Protestant religious organizations was necessary for the beginning of the 1998 years and now the largest of them is the Baptist church with a house of worship in Tula. 
representatives of other Protestant directions in Tula or Seventh-day Adventist Church, Presbyterians, Holy Trinity Church, Radiant, Jesus Gospel, The Good News, Pentecostals, The Tula Christian Center, Church of the New Testament, and other evangelical churches, Levitzor, the Rod, the Gypsy Church, Catholic receipt of the Nativity of the Theotokos totals about 300 parishioners and territorially belongs to the Archdiocese of the Mother of God with the center in Moscow. The non-Christian organizations are provided by Muslims, Jews, Krishnates, Buddhists and Dasa. Also, there is a number of neo-pagan groups among which there is Krnitsa, the Tula Vedic community and the Union of Slavic Communities, there is Slavic Native Vera. Now in Tula, three cemeteries work. The main thing in the largest city cemetery is Smolensk. Earlier the first city cemetery in the people the Soap Mountain. The received name because of arrangement in its territory of Church of the Smolensk Mother of God. The cemetery is located on the site of Ten Kame. Novomoskovsko Highway. Also on city land smaller cemeteries are located. Kosogorsko. Mining. Karivskaya Street. Of the central district, turn on the western Skuratovsky settlement. And Skuratovsky. In the city, three historical cemeteries are located. The Vyksvyatsky Tspasky Cemetery and Cholkaskoy, who arose at the end of the 18th century owing to epidemic and existed as the operating 200 years. The oldest of them is Skvatsko, in the territory of whom there is All Saints Cathedral. Over the years its area increased due to accession of Vyjani lands. In 1902-1904 the cemetery was enclosed with a brick wall. Now the space of the cemetery is occupied by about 34 hectares. Burials at the cemetery continued up to the 1,978 years when it received the status of memorial. Now it is authorized to bury in the Vyksvyotsky Cemetery only ballot boxes with ashes. The Sposky Cemetery was founded on the Zarekny weapon side for armorers. Over time at the cemetery built the Temple of Savior on Gore and it became public. Burials on it continued till 1968 years. Now the cemetery is closed. The Chulkovsky Cemetery soon after the emergence became the cemetery of small arms factory at Demetrius of Thessaloniki's temple. Among the remained graves of the most remarkable the tomb of the chief mechanical engineer of small arms factory A.M. Cernan who served as a prototype of the literary character Lefsha is. In the territory of cemeteries Massachusetts graves of defenders of Tula in 1941 in which about 5,000 people are buried or located. In addition, the Jewish cemetery opened in 1857 is remarkable. In 1969 the cemetery was closed, and in 1987 Tula Cartridge Works near which it is located, fenced its territory with a reinforced concrete fence with a barbed wire, and the entrance at the cemetery was available only through checkpoints. Sport since pre-revolutionary times in Tula the bicycle sport was developed. The Tula bicycle track was opened in 1896. Here the championships of the country, large international competitions were held. Football Stadium Arsenal 
in the city sports schools of freestyle wrestling, sambo, kickboxing, boxing work. In the city for 12 years sports contests among comprehensive schools, organizations of an average and higher education in which more than 90 organizations take part are held. In 2012, 122 city sporting events on 31 sports. The superiority and the championships, competitions devoted to significant dates and the famous trainers and athletes in whom more than 17,000 people took part or organized and held. In November 2018 in the Zarekni district of the city, the Children's Football Academy of the Trial NHF having the covered football field and equipped with necessary infrastructure was open. The famous Soviet and Russian football player and the trainer the trial and a chef heading the Tula Arsenal Football Club during the period from 2011 to 2015 took part in opening of the sporting venue. In the city professional clubs are based. Soccer. Arsenal acts in the Russian Football Premier League. Basketball. Arsenal acts in the Super League minus 2A division. Volleyball. Tulitsa acts in the highest league A. Hockey. The Academy of Hockey of B. P. Mikhailov acts in Mamal. Sakaik acts in Vlevo. Massachusetts Media. Building of State TV and Radio Broadcasting Company Tula The Tula Television was founded on November 9, 1956. According to the order of the Minister of Communications of Rusfars, the Stalinogorsky Television Center. Earlier district city of the Moscow region was organized. A bit later the transferring tower 180 meters high and the radio relay Moscow, Serpukline, Laptevo. Nowadays Yasnogorsk. Stalinogorsk was put into operation. Nowadays Novomoskovsk. That allowed to begin transfers of one radio and TV programs. It was the 5 meter channel on which broadcasts the first Russian channel to this day. In 2013, the first Tula TV channel, the full-time regional digital TV channel with broadcasting center from the city of Tula was created. The TV channel broadcasts in all cable networks of the regional center. Residents of Tula can accept 20 digital broadcasting TV channels from a television tower 354 meters high. It is put into operation in 1975. Broadcast of radio TV and radio programs in the region is provided by the Tula Regional Radio Television Transmitting Center. In Tula there is a broadcasting of the following broadcasting digital TV channels. The first multiplex. The second multiplex. Printing editions. Now in Tula is issued a number of printing and electronic editions among which The Young Communist, the oldest of nowadays, published the Tula Regional Independent Newspaper. It was based on December 5, 1925. Since April 2010, the website of the edition works. Moskovsky Komsomolitz in Tula, the social and political regional weekly, includes various headings. In Tula since 1997, the settlement, the city family newspaper, covers a wide range of subjects. 
Views of Tula and area, cultural life of the city, politician, sport, consumer demand, history of the city, health and education. The first black and white number appeared on November 4, 1994, now is in the single copy in a private collection. Since 2001 the newspaper passed to a collar seal. From 2003 to 2010 the newspaper got an award of National Production Service Circulation Record of Year. In 2006 the newspaper had an internet portal. Tula, the Tula City Newspaper, appears every Tuesday and Thursday since 1990. Initially carried the name Evening Tula. It is founded by City Administration of Tula and the Tula City Council. The Tula News, the political newspaper. It was based on January 2. 1991 as publication of Regional Council of People's Deputies. In 1993 the administration of Tula Region and since 2003 and Region Duma became her founder. Now the Tula News remain the only daily newspaper of area. The Tula Panorama is founded by Labour Collective of Ipo, Leo Tolstoy. The newspaper has the big section devoted to announcements of purchase and sale and also the news and entertaining block. Western part of the historic center of Tula. In the center, Krestovazda's church. Nowadays, Krestovazda Square. On a background at the left, Transfiguration Cathedral and Bell Tower. Nowadays, fountains near the White House. In the lower right corner, malls. Nowadays, Spur Bank of Russia. Tula is one of the most ancient cities of Russia, is rich with various monuments of architecture. One of the main attractions is the Kremlin of the 16th century, the oldest construction in the city. In the Middle Ages it was the downtown from which the local plan of Tula began to be created further. The historic center of the city by the beginning of the 20th century included low two, three-floor residential and trade buildings in border of modern Sovetskaya Street from Zarekny to Chilkovsky Bridge. In addition to the Kremlin in the zone, a number of the temple and religious constructions showing cultural and art features of architecture and painting of various historical eras was located. From then the Annunciation Church, 1692, which is the oldest construction after the Kremlin in Tula, cathedrals of the Kremlin Aspensky and Bogovlensky, in whom funds of the Museum of Weapon are located. Aspensky and Priyabrovensky temples of the former Aspensky Monastery, Church of the Intercession and Staronikitsky Church which is thrown now remained up to now. In the first half of his of a century the big contribution to forming of architectural heritage of Tula was made on projects of the architect 5. F. Fedosiev. The Peter and Paul Church, the Bell Tower of Vyksvyotsky Church, reconstruction of the Weapon Yard, the House of Nobility Assembly. Monuments of residential architecture, mansions of noble and merchant surnames are very interesting. Levensovi, Lujanini, Batashov, Dobrinini. Many of them are executed from a tree or in the mixed designs. Since 1920 years, the historic center of Tula began to change significantly towards the gradual disappearance. So, in 1921 the Aspensky Monastery was closed, the Znamensk Church which were located in it, the Bell Tower, Walls and Towers, the majority of the monastic body, in Acropolis were destroyed. Spesa Priya the temple in Soviet period was used as a warehouse, 
then as the building of Sea School, Assumption Cathedral, as storage of the State Archive of Tula Region. In the 1930th year some more temples of the historic center among which there is Church of Our Lady of Kazan, Transfiguration Cathedral, Krestovskia Church, Trinity Church, the temple in honor of the presentation of the Lord, Nikola Chapel and the Bell Tower of Assumption Cathedral in the Tula Kremlin were destroyed. The quarter in the downtown and borders of modern street Soviet was in the mid-70s completely demolished F. Engels, Mendelevsky and Turgenev, and on a vacant place Lenin Square and the White House appeared. Also the set of historical buildings was destroyed near modern Jerzynski Street where further there were modern buildings which are not fitting into the general stylistics of the center. The existing embankment near the bypass canal of the River Unitary Enterprises in the north from the Kremlin was abandoned, its territory was taken by small arms factory and gradually turned into a dump of industrial wastes. Since 1998 years, there was a set of plans and the ideas concerning restoration of the historic center of Tula, any of which was not brought to life. At the moment the most considerable stage of transformation of the downtown is the complete restoration of the Kremlin which is carried out in 2010-2014, restoration of the bell tower of Assumption Cathedral in the Kremlin. 2012-2014 and the River Embankment Unitary Enterprises, 2012-2018. In the summer 2017, the Toolscare Embankment project started. It provides creation in the historic center of Tula of a well-planned recreation area on the bank of the old course Unitary Enterprises along the Tula Kremlin and Metalistov Street. Krestovskia Square and Square, adjacent to it, of Mosin. On the streets adjoining the embankment will restore facades of buildings. In actually abandoned territories between Metalistov Street and the river tourist infrastructure will be created. Café and restaurants, museums and galleries. In summertime the entertaining zone with nurseries and sports playgrounds, to the cafe opened by movie theater will act on the embankment, and during the winter period in line with the river the skating rink will function. The project is implemented on the terms of public-private partnership. It is supposed that the volume of investment will be about 10 billion rubles. Opening of the embankment on the bank of the old course Unitary Enterprises and Metalistov Street took place in the fall of 2018. With the course of further works on improvement of the historic center of the city, having visited Tula in July 2019, the Russian Prime Minister the Trimedvedev examined. In the fall of 2020, according to the program of preparation for the celebration of the 500th anniversary of the Tula Kremlin, after end of a complex of works on restoration and adaptation of historical buildings under cultural institutions and rest and reconstruction of nearby territories, museum quarter where branches of the federal museums were located opened. Yesnaya Poliana, Kulikovo Field, Polanov's Estate, State Historical Museum and other exhibition spaces. The absolute majority of cult constructions of Tula is provided by Orthodox churches of various architectural styles. The oldest temple construction of the city is Annunciation Church, the only monument of architecture of the 17th century in Tula representing a typical example of the small five-domed temple of the Moscow type in style of Russia Nuzaratya. One of striking examples of the Russian Baroque in the city is Assumption Cathedral and Bell Tower. 1762-1764 in the Tula Kremlin also Voznesensky the temple in Tsariki treats this style 
and the Nikolaus Oretsky Temple founded by Akin Fy Demidov is executed in Petrovsky Baroque. Also elements of Baroque are present at architecture of the Temple of Saints Flora and Monastery built at a transition boundary in Classicism. The most striking example of the Russian Classicism in Tula is All Saints Cathedral. 1776-1800 The Russian pseudo-Gothic in Tula is provided by Catholic Church of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, a monument of architecture of the 19th century. The Tula Kremlin, the only monument of the 16th century. 1514-1520 Which reached our days, a long time providing reliable protection against attacks of nomads. The Kremlin has nine towers, four of them with gate. Spostky, Odoyevsky, Nikitsky, Ivanovo, the Tower of the Ivanovo Gate, Onesela, Watergate, Nagolnea and Pietnitskaya. The Kremlin is the city in the city. In fortress there lived almost all population, both military and civil. According to Pistsovi books of 1625 and 1685, at the end of the 17th century in the Tula Kremlin there were 107 yards and 197 inhabitants. First street of Tula was in the Kremlin and was called Big Kremlin. In the territory of the Kremlin there are two cathedrals. Assumption Cathedral in Baroque style, constructed in 1766, and the Epiphany Cathedral constructed in 1855-1862 in memory of the Tula soldiers who died in Patriotic War of 1812. Now in Epiphany Cathedral the State Museum of Weapon is placed. From 2012 to 2014 in the Kremlin the Assumption Cathedral Bell Tower destroyed in the 1930th years was reconstructed. In 2016 the Russian President Vladimir Putin signed the decree on the celebration of the 500th anniversary of the Tula Kremlin. In Tula a number of the large museums existing in the city already many decades is located. The following is the most popular with public. Tula State Arms Museum, one of the oldest in the country, is included in the book 100 Museums of the World. Peter I's decree became the beginning of collecting of samples of weapon, and in December 1775 Catherine II disposed to create chamber of rare and model weapon at the Tula Small Arms Factory. The museum, Tula Samovers, is open in 1990 in the two-storied building built in 1910-1911 by the architect 5. N. Sirakin on Mendelevskaya Street near walls of the Tula Kremlin. The demand for exposure of the museum became the big swatch book of Samovers of the 18th-20th centuries collected for many years by Museum Consolidation the Tula Regional Historical and Architectural and Literary Museum which branch was also a museum of Samovers. The museum, Tula Gingerbread was formed in 1996 in the former wings of armorers and some of Arshchik of brothers Lyalinuk. Museum pieces are various gingerbread boards of various form, many of which belong to the famous confectioners Sirikov and Kozlov earlier, gingerbread packings, photos and household items of the Tula Priyaniknik and also gingerbreads among which the smallest and the biggest in Russia. The Memorial Museum of N. 1. Belobrodov, the creator of chromatic harmonica. In the museum there is its first chromatic accordion exhibitions, musicales are constantly held. 
among museum pieces, products of Melodia, information on the famous designers of Bayons and Harmonicus. The Tula Regional Art Museum, one of the large regional museums of Russia. In a collection of old Russian art, an icon of the 16, 20 centuries, metal plastic, sewing and other types of applied art. The big art importance is represented by works by outstanding masters of Italy, Holland, France, Germany. Branch of the Memorial Estate of Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy. 5. V. Verisayev's House Museum, the only museum in Russia devoted to life and 5. V. Verisayev's Creativity, the Tula Doctor, Russian, the Soviet writer, the Pushkin scholar, the translator and the literary critic. V. N. Prilov's Museum is open on September 19, 1997. The collection of works of painting and graphics reflects different stages of a career of the national artist of the USA, the Honorable Citizen of Tula, the winner Leninskaya and the State Awards of the USA, the full member of Academy of Arts of the USA. In 2013 p.n. Prilov's Museum became Tugak Branch, the Consolidation, Local History and Art Museum. Tula Regional Museum of Local Lore. Museum Old Tula Drugstore. Museum and Exhibition Center Tula Antiquities. Museum Dead Filmen's Accordions. Historical and Memorial Museum of Demidov. The Tula Carve Pletby Museum Exhibition Complex and Interactive Space, The Carpenter's Settlement, are open in October. 2017 based on the Center of Cultural Development within the All-Russian Conference on Development of the Small Cities. The Museum of the Machine, opened in the spring of 2018 in the territory of the acoustic plant, Oktava, within the unique project of the Creative Industrial Cluster organized by Rostec. The Museum of the Machine is the first in Russia, is created with application unique a source. Methods on a joint of museum and innovation technologies. On 1000 square meters the exposure which is turning on various machines, the equipment of domestic and foreign production and also the multimedia objects telling about the history of the country through industrial achievements is provided. The Archaeological Museum is open in April 2019 in the territory of the Tula Kremlin within the All-Russian Forum, Kremlin of Russia and their role in the history of the Russian state. Artifacts from an occupation layer of the Tula Kremlin and the territory adjoining to it in a historical part of the city are provided to exposures of the museum stylized under archaeological excavations. The main theatrical site of Tula is the Tula State Academic Drama Theater of M. Gorky, one of the drama theaters, oldest in Russia. The theater was created in 1777 on the occasion of introduction of Tula to a rank of the provincial center, and a year later he was visited by the Empress Catherine II. In 1970 the new building of theater on the project of architect A. Krasilnikov A. Pope Event 5. Shulrichter in whom it is located still was built. In 1995 to theater the rank academic is given. The Tula State Puppet Theater is founded in 1937 and is a numerous student and the winner of the Russian and international festivals. Municipal Theatre Hermitage, the only municipal theatre in Tula. The municipal theatre at an outpost of Tolstoy carried the name. The Tula Chamber Drama Theatre, the youngest theatre in Tula created in March 2005. 
Theatre of a Fashion, Contour, the Theatre of a Fashion and a Suit founded in the late 80s under the leadership of Suka Valery Viktorovich. In Tula, one of the oldest circuses of Russia, the Tula State Circus is located. The modern building of circus was built in 1962 on the project of the architect B.D. Vasilyevan accommodates in itself 2,000 people. The next year after opening in the circus ring, the premier program, Circus on Ice, was released, and in 1963 representation Tula, Paris, which in France was awarded a prize of the Parisian Academy of Sciences, started. The possibility of creation on the arena of an ice skating rink for Circus on Ice is provided. The Tula Circus is one of production bases for the Moscow Circuses and Foreign Tours. Many famous circus actors such as Oleg Popov, Yuri Nikulin, Walter and Mstislav Zapashny, Emil and Igor Kyo acted on the Tula Arena. In addition in the city there is the Tula Regional Philharmonic Hall, one of the oldest in Russia. The building in which it is located, is a monument of architecture of the beginning of the 20th century is built on the project of the famous Moscow architect I. A. Ivanov Shitsa which applied the most fashionable at the time an architectural form of eclecticism, combined acceptances of neoclassicism and a modernist style. Today in the Tula Regional Philharmonic Hall 16 collectives and 20 contractor soloists, in its structure, opera studio and children's Philharmonic Hall work. In 2014 the building of Nobility Assembly where it is going to place the second concert venue for holding festive events, balls, concerts, graduation parties was transferred to fixed assets of Philharmonic Hall. Movie Theatres in Tula, five movie theaters, three act the attractions work. At all Tula movie theaters, the modern equipment for display, movies is installed. At October movie theaters, two screen cinema star, six screen Kino City, eight screen cinema the park with IMAX and real technology, single hall ditch of cinema which specializes in display of festival art house cinema. Annually on November 7 at Albany Movie Theater. Cease to exist. The award ceremony of the International Independent Film Festival of Short Films, Shorts, was held. Libraries. In 1979 for the purpose of improvement of quality and expansion of library service of readers through the whole country centralization process began to work. The resolution of the Tula Executive Committee of the City Soviet of People's Deputies in Tula performed centralization of City Massachusetts libraries in uniform structure, the Tula Centralized Library System. The Central City Library of 50. N. Tolstoy. Bolden Street. 149 slash. became the main library of the system. Now the library system of Tula unites 17 municipal libraries, including library and information complex, four model libraries and four nominal in which 164 qualified library specialists work. Today all libraries of Tula are completed with the computer equipment with internet connection. Annually in libraries of the city more than 1,000 Massachusetts events on various subjects for users of all age are held. Recreation centers. In jurisdiction of management of culture of city administration of Tula there are five recreation centers. Center of culture and leisure, city concert hall, Kosigoritz, Hamiakovo and Yushni. On the base many cultural and leisure formations which give the chance to everyone to find class in the interest function. 
dancing, musical, theatrical, literary, sports and linguistic. Recently their rooms are often leased for carrying out corporate evenings, anniversaries, graduation parties, discos and also the professional holidays dramatized and game children's holidays. Parks and Squares The largest park of Tula is Central Park of Culture and Leisure of P.P. Bulusev, a nature sanctuary of regional value and an object of national property. Now the territory of the park occupies 143 hectares. From them 97 hectares are occupied by the forest area, 11 hectares, a cascade of three ponds and 35 hectares, a recreational zone. In addition in Tula the following parks are located. The Komsomol Park, man-made nature sanctuary which on July 4, 2009 celebrated the 102 anniversary from the date of the creation, a nature sanctuary of regional value. For today its area is 26.3 hectares. Business card of Komsomol Recreation Park is the monument to the commander of the cruiser Varangian 5. F. Rodnep. The recreation park of Proletarsky district having the status of a nature sanctuary of local value. The area of the park is 34.1 hectares. In the territory of the park the base of a hire of skis, the game hall of table tennis, the children's playground are located. The green massif of the park are lungs of Proletarsky district. The Rogozinski Park The park of the 250th anniversary of the Tula Small Arms Factory Squares of Tula Kremlyovsky Square, Pushkinsky Square, Majilyovsky Square Near Tchu of 50 Tolstov Karovsky Square Children's Park of Proletarsky District Tichroni Square Near Drama Theatre Shiglovsky Square Near the Shiglovsky Monastery Tolstovsky Square Near 50 Tolstoy's Monument The Square to Inhabitants of Tula Two Heroes Near Zags and Wedding Palace on Lenin Avenue The Square of Communards Near the Ministry of Internal Affairs University. The square on Call Street, the square on D. Yulianov Street. Near Zheleznikov Recreation Center. The square to Afghan Heroes. Near Tiet Frolov. Other forests. Matashevsky Garden. Platonovsky Wood Zoos In 1987 in Tula there was the first zoo, Tula Exoterium which collection at the time consisted of 120 animal species. Fish, an amphibian, a reptile and so forth. At the moment it is basic laboratory of Zoological Institute of Rast, the cultural and educational, teaching and educational, research, nature protection center. In it the world's largest collection of snakes numbering more than 524 types and subspecies is collected. On total number of animal species the Tula Zoo takes the strong second place among zoos of Russia. On July 4, 1976 in the territory of Central Park of Culture and Leisure of P.P. The Lusa of the Mini Zoo, the Tula Zoo Corner opened. Together with the park it forms the landscape protection area of 143 hectares uniform especially. 285 animals live in Azo Corner. 37 bird species and 8 types of animals.
In 2013 in Tula the contact touching zoo appeared. In a zoo some animal species are provided. Chickens, rabbits, guinea pigs, mini PG, proteins, nasik, chinchillas, to the tiger and parrots, but already in the nearest future in a zoo will appear an ant farm, a lemur and the African hedgehogs. The uniqueness of a zoo is that it is possible not only to feed little inhabitants of a zoo, but also to touch, stroke and even to take on hands. Festivals and Holidays The main holiday of Tula is the City Day which is annually held every second Saturday of September. In addition, in the city there takes place a number of festivals among which the largest is the festival of on-stage performance groups and contractors, perfectly, Tula. He is founded by city administration of Tula and is carried out for the purpose of preserving and development of potential of creative youth, revival, strengthening, creation of new Russian and Tula traditions, and is directed to support of young participants, improvement of pedagogical skill of their heads, promoting of different types of art, expansion of cultural communication among contractors and heads. Is not less significant, Shorts, founded in 2010 with the purpose to give the chance to young directors, operators, screenwriters and actors to declare oneself, show the creative projects to a large number of the viewers and also to increase the interest of audience in short cinema in Russia. Other large festival is Tula the Orthodox, founded in 2010 by the Tula Diocese of Russian Orthodox Church and Management of Culture of City Administration of Tula. Participants of this festival are choral collectives and vocal ensembles of DMTA, Comprehensive Schools, Recreation Center, Sunday Schools, Suzov, Higher Education Institutions of the Academic Direction, Choruses of Receipts of Russian Orthodox Church. Also since 2010 in the city there takes place the International Festival of Street Theatres under the Open Sky, a theatrical courtyard. A founder of a festival is the city administration of Tula on behalf of the head of administration of the city of Tula, and the direct organizer of a festival is the Municipal Authority of Culture the Tula Municipal Theatre, Hermitage. Participants of a festival are professional state and non-state on-stage performance groups from Russia and foreign countries. The festival is held in days of a summer school break, and preference is given to performances for children. Performances are followed by masterclasses, the training programs and seminars, charity events in orphanages, boarding schools. Its main function, educational, educational, charitable. Since 2016 in the Tula Kremlin there takes place the Day of Gingerbread Festival. The central site of a festival, a fair of gingerbread art, with master classes in painting of gingerbreads. To Tula there come producers of gingerbreads from the whole country, guests can study traditions of a tea drinking of different eras. In Day of Gingerbread, guests can visit interactive sites, performances of folklore ensemble, the championship on high-speed boiling of a samovar. The organizer of a festival, the Ministry of Culture of Tula region. Day of Gingerbread enters in top minus 200 the best event projects of Russia, to it the rank of a national event of 2018 is given. The third in a regional festival will be held in August 2018. By results of selection from more than 1500 applications of 70 regions of Russia the Day of Gingerbread Festival is again entered in the national calendar of events, 2019. In Tula there are a lot of various monuments devoted to outstanding figures and events. 
as Tula was always the city which was famous for the weapon there is a set of the monuments devoted to the Tula handyman and also participants and events of the Great Patriotic War. Tula the homeland of a number of the famous people of various fields of activity. In the literary sphere the most important place is taken by Leo Tolstoy living in Yasnaya Poliana who actively participated in public life of the city, in particular, was present at court sessions, at statement of own plays met writers in the territory of the city. The great Russian writer Mikhail Grafovich Soltikov Shedrin served in Tula from December, 1866 to October, 1867 the chairman of state chamber. The house where the chamber, on Lenin Avenue, 43 was located, remained. Also the name of the Soviet writer and literary critic Vikenty Verasayev is connected with Tula, the winner of Pushkin and Stalin Awards. Tula is the homeland of Glebospensky, author of a series of sketches, Customs of Rastryavaya Street, 1866. The book describes life, poor Luda, in the city of T. Stronikitskaya Street real life to this day served as a prototype of fictional Rastoyevaya Street. In 2015 on this street the monument to the writer was open. In the Tula Regional Philharmonic Hall there began a labor activity Willy Tokarev. He was a contrabass player of a youth jazz band under the leadership of the famous conductor Anatoly Kral. In the theatrical and cinema sphere Tula it is known for names of such Soviet and Russian actors as Sevalod Saniev, Vyacheslav Nevany, Irina Skotseva and Vladimir Mashkov. The actress and the theatrical teacher Maria Espenskaya one of the few Russian actresses, Nemina Ravoviva on the Oscar was a native of Tula also. Tula which throughout many centuries was the center of weapon matter in Russia is glorified also by names of the armorers among which there are Nikita Demidov, Sergei Mosin, Fyodor Tokarev, Nikolai Makarov, Vyacheslav Silin, Igor Stekin, Vasily Gryozov and Arkady Shipnov. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.